Welcome to the Content 10X Podcast. 10X Podcast. The show where content creators learn how to harness the power of content repurposing. And now, your host, Amy Woods. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Content 10X podcast. I'm your host, Amy Woods, and in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about transcripts. So getting transcripts of your video and audio content. So this is something that I haven't really ever talked about before. Um, We've touched on it a little bit when talking about other aspects of repurposing, but I just wanted to delve um, deeper and more specifically into transcripts. So I'm going to talk about why you may get transcripts for your podcast and video, how you can do that, but also why in terms of repurposing. So why would you get them? How would you use them? How could they help you with your repurposing activity? So really just to be clear on what I mean by transcript. So when you have video and audio content, I'm talking about converting that to text. So converting the spoken word in your video and audio to text. So when you get a transcription of your podcast and video. So why would you want to get transcripts? So there are many different reasons why you may want to do that. So firstly, Um, It could be to make your content more accessible. So, for example, people who are deaf or hard of hearing would really benefit from transcripts of your podcast and video. People who speak other languages, so people who don't speak your language as a first language may find transcripts and uh, that kind of thing really, really useful. So really... For many ways, it can be to create a better user experience for your audience. So help people who either can't listen to the podcast very well or actually just people who don't listen to podcasts as well. So those people who aren't going to consume your podcast or your video as well, and because it's just not the content that they really want to consume or perhaps they don't like to, or there could be other reasons as well. So when I mentioned a better user experience, perhaps it's somebody who really likes your podcasts or video content, but they would like to look at something at work. So look at one of your episodes at work where they can't put the volume on or some kind of scenario like that, where having a transcript can just really benefit that experience for your audience. So that's one reason why it can be good to get transcripts. Another reason is to improve SEO as well. So to improve search engine optimization. So transcripts make it more easier for your content to be found by the search engine. So the the, the bots that crawl the web and help the search engines bring back results for people who are completing searches, they you know don't scan very well video and audio content. Things are improving, but really it's a more of a text-based scan. So if you can create written content from your video and audio, then you're gonna improve your search engine optimization. And I also think another good reason to have transcripts as well is it makes it easier for you to refer back to your content as well. But we're going to come on to the benefits to you in a moment, but it can be great for you to refer back to and also just for other people as well to be able to kind of refer back to when they don't want to necessarily listen to the whole podcast or watch the whole video again. But there were some great points that were made and it it means that they can refer back to your content. So they're just some of the reasons why it can be really good to get transcripts. So the next question that you may have is, well, how do you get transcripts? And there are a few different ways that you can do this. So there are services that provide like an automated transcript service where it uses AI, so voice recognition. So there's no humans involved, but there is a kind of automatic voice recognition system to turn your audio into a transcript. And I I have never actually used this service before. So I must say there's nobody that I can really recommend personally. But the main service that I've heard of for this is Trint, T-R-I-N-T. That's the one that I've heard people talk about and heard people refer to. So this is AI kind of voice recognition. And 
you will have to make quite a lot of updates. I believe it's, you know, maybe it's kind of 50-50, maybe a bit more in terms of getting things right. Maybe it's much higher than that. But I know that you would spend a fair amount of time when there's been no human involvement to update the transcript and correct any of the errors and things that were picked up incorrectly. But that's one option. Then another option is a, a service like Rev. So Rev.com, R-E-V.com. Now I can recommend Rev. So we use Rev at Content 10X to create caption files and transcripts. And I always have since day one of starting Content 10X for myself and for my clients as well. So this is a service where it is actually human. So it is people who type up your transcripts for you. So the accuracy is considerably um, higher than a service like Trint. Now with Rev, the cost for that is about, well, not about, it is exactly $1 per minute. And, um, you know, it's a very much a flat free, whether that's captions, whether that's the transcript. And so the service is really good as well. Usually you get delivery back in quite a short space of time, even sometimes for very short transcripts, we've had them back within a couple of hours, but it's always speedy, fairly reliable. Yes, you will have to correct occasional words here or there. It's not a hundred percent, but Rev is really good. And then another option is to hire transcriptionists as well. So you can find people on a lot of the freelance sites like Upwork and Fiverr. And I'm sure if you're in forums for videos and podcasters, then you probably see people sometimes letting you know that they're transcriptionists. So you can work with individuals as well. So plenty of different options for how you can get transcripts made that don't involve you having to sit down and actually type out a transcript yourself, which probably wouldn't be the best use of your time. So moving on now, once you have a transcript, what are the different ways that you can use them? So firstly, you can serve up your transcript as it is basically. So just simply offer the transcript as a download for your audience. So when you put a video or a podcast out there, provide the transcript. You can offer that completely, you know, for free as in they don't have to provide their email address or anything like that. And they can just simply download it. Or some people use it as a email list builder where people need to provide their email address in order to get hold of the transcript, whichever you think would suit you and your audience best. But that's an option simply as the transcript is, just offer that up to your audience. Alternatively, instead of offering it as a download, you could put the transcript actually into the post with your content. So say you're posting a video or a podcast onto your site to put the actual transcript into the post itself so that it reads on the website itself as well. So that again, that's another option and that's likely to help you more with your SEO as well. So two options there for how you can dish up to your audience the transcript as it is. Now, another option is to turn the transcript into a blog post. So basically what you're using the transcription service for is to get you kind of halfway there with a blog post based on the podcast or the video. So you take the transcript and then from there, you would wordsmith that into a blog post and you probably add an introduction, you probably change things around a bit, add subtitles and you know, really turn it into a good blog post or a, a well-written article. It could go onto other sites, onto LinkedIn or Medium, or you could be writing an article for a guest post elsewhere, anything like that, where really the transcript is being used as a starting point to repurpose that podcast or that video into a written article. Another benefit of getting transcripts is to then use that to help you with your social content as well. So it can be easier to find quotes to put out there as tweets. So create maybe a collection of tweets or quotes to turn into quotes, graphics and things like that. It can be easier to do that. The process can be easier if you're looking at a transcript first, as opposed to working your way through the podcast and the video to pick them out. So it can help you with your social content. And as well as quotes and tweets and things like that, also just with the posts themselves as well. So if you're writing a Facebook post about your podcast or about your video or just stand alone about the topic without any reference to the podcast or the video, then you can refer to your transcript and then wordsmith little sections of your transcript into 
a um, art into a post for social media. So then really, really helpful for that. Now, something else that can make your transcripts really, really um, useful is if you are planning on writing a book. So maybe you're planning or you're currently writing an ebook or a book that you're going to get published and it's going to be based on many of the videos and the podcasts and things like that that you've done over time. So getting transcripts of that content to turn that into the written word can then go into your book. So again, you may wordsmith it a little bit. If you're involving a writer to help you write your book, then maybe all that you really need is to get transcripts of that content and provide that to the person who is helping you. And then they'll help to turn that into well-written sections and chapters and create the book for you. So a book, but also a course as well. So perhaps if you're creating some kind of course or something along those lines to serve to your audience based off some of your video and audio content, then it's likely that you're going to have more written content within that. And in that case, getting a transcript can be a really, really useful thing to do. So as you can see, there are many benefits to you and to your audience of getting transcripts. It it really helps in many different ways, really, really helps with the repurposing. Okay, so if you decide to go ahead and get some transcripts to help you with making your video and podcast content go further, then please do let me know. I'd really love to know how you got on. So please do get in touch with me. Um, You can contact me via all the social media channels at content10x and also just feel free to email as well, info at content10x.com. If you want any help at all with the repurposing of your content, not just podcast and video content to transcripts, but fully end-to-end managed service of helping you with your content repurposing, then also do get in touch because at Content 10X, that's exactly what we do. We're a specialist agency that only do the repurposing of content for great, awesome content creators like you. So if you'd like to find out more about that, do get in touch as well, info at content10x.com and just head over to the website as well and have a look. So all that's left to say is thank you very much for listening to today's podcast episode. I really, really do appreciate it and I'll catch you in the next one.